Hi, I'm Devon Kelly. I'm a graduate student at UT Southwestern, and I am answering the question today for Ask a Scientist. Today's question comes from Ava Sophia, who is 10 and in the fifth grade. She asks, what would happen if you put a Q-tip in yogurt? She asked this question in response to a demonstration that we gave where we had a dish of milk and then added a few drops of food coloring to it. So that we touched a Q-tip, which has been soaked in soap, and has caused the food coloring to spread over the milk and away from the soap. This is due to the fact that soaps and detergents will break up the surface tension of the milk by dissolving fats, and this is what leads to the mixing effect. So if you have more fats in your milk, they'll have a faster and more impressive effect. In order to predict what's going to happen when you switch out the milk for yogurts, you need to look at the differences between milk and yogurt. So the primary difference that stands out to me is that yogurt is a lot thicker than milk. So if you use regular yogurt, it seems like it'll be a bit too thick. It has that kind of curdy look to it. So it won't really mix all that well. Similarly with Greek yogurt, it's just way too thick and there's usually not enough fat in it in order to create this effect. However, if you use a yogurt smoothie like kefir, you will actually get a little bit of a better effect. The problem is, is that it's still a little bit on the thick side and the kind that I got was kind of low in fat. So it's kind of difficult to see the effect. However, if you thin it out a little bit, you will actually be able to see the effect in a similar fashion as if you were using milk instead. So the difference seems to be more based on the thickness of the liquid and less on the fact that it's yogurt versus milk. So I hope that answers your question. This was Ask a Scientist.